you guys? It's Pokegirl7 here, and today we're playing Onyx Spotlight Hour in Pokemon Go. So for one hour, we're gonna have more frequent Onyx spawns, and I might try to pick up a shiny Onyx today. I don't really know if the shiny odds are gonna be boosted during this event, but we're just gonna see how it goes. So trainers in other regions have already had their event at the time of filming this video, and some people were saying that the Onyx spawns aren't that frequent. It's not really like community day level of spawns for this Pokemon. They're just kind of here and there. So I don't know how good this event's gonna be. We're gonna test it out today. It could be really good, could be really bad. This is the first ever mystery spotlight hour event we've ever had in Pokemon Go. Basically this event was supposed to be a surprise, like it was gonna be a mystery Pokemon that just starts spawning for one hour and then it's gone. And uh, it got spoiled, of course, because regions before us got it, like in New Zealand, Europe, and that sort of thing. So we already know that it is Onyx, but this is the first time Niantic has ever done an event like this, so it's kind of like a test trial. Maybe if this event is really bad, they'll give us something better next time for the next mystery spotlight hour. But anyways, it starts in about 10 minutes or so, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it is a rainy day here, and it's about to get dark soon, so we're probably going to be playing in the car for the most part, but we're going to see how many Onyx spawns we can find in one hour. Alright guys, so just before we start with the Onyx event, I want to talk about the new level 5 raid boss it's going to be tornadus so tornadus is a flying type legendary pokemon from the unova region and to counter tornadus in a raid you need to use your electric ice or rock type pokemon the 100 iv cp you're looking for is 1911 and with the windy weather boost it's going to be 2389 tornadus is going to be in level 5 raids all the way until february 25th at 1 p.m pacific time so you guys have plenty of time to get that one in the pokedex and you guys might even see me do some tornadus raids in today's video if i can find some there are a few in town already, but I just missed the raid group, so I'm gonna have to wait for more to show up. But we might do some of those throughout the Onyx Hour. Alright guys, so the event has officially started and we have two Onyxes on the nearby right now already, so we're on our way over to those. Actually, we have three on the nearby. And there's two right there, wow. Okay, this event's actually better than I was expecting. I feel like a lot of people were complaining. But for this to be the very start of the event, we've already seen two right here and then a few more on the nearby. That's pretty good. So I'm hoping I get a shiny during this event, guys. I actually don't have a shiny Onyx at all yet in Pokemon Go. Um, it has spawned in a few different events. And I think this is one of those ones with a little bit boosted shiny odds in the wild. But somehow I just don't have one. Um, a lot of people were disappointed that we had the Onyx Spotlight Hour just because most people have a bunch of shiny onyxes, but I actually don't, so I'm hoping I get one today so I can stop complaining, and um, overall, I'm pretty happy about this event, and I'm pretty excited. I guess this is just for people who don't play that much or don't have onyx spawns in their area and want to try to get a shiny onyx or at least get a steelix in the pokedex you got to think about the more casual players so overall i don't think it's a horrible event oh and we have another onyx shiny check right here no shiny on that one i really don't know if the shiny odds are boosted today i haven't really found much information online about it from players in other regions but uh, I don't know, we could end up snagging a shiny today, guys, who knows. But we've already caught three Onyx in the past three minutes of the event starting, so it's looking pretty good so far. All right, guys, now we have another Onyx shiny check. No shiny on that one. My voice cracked a little bit, woof. So if you guys are wondering, I have my husband driving me around right now. I think I'm gonna have him drive me to different spots throughout the next hour to try to cover the most ground. Uh, we've gotten four Onyxes in six minutes. So I'm gonna keep track of how many I find. Some people from New Zealand and Australia and stuff were saying that they only found like a handful of Onyx within the hour. Some people were saying they only found like five in an hour. So I'm already really beating that rate. So. Maybe they increase the Onyx spawns for other regions now, or I'm just getting lucky. But I'm gonna try to keep track of how many I found throughout the whole hour. That way I can kind of give a report of how the event went for me. So I actually have some five kilometer eggs hatching. These are actually from the Mancino research day, so I could actually get a shiny Mancino from one of these eggs. That would be pretty wild. And we got a regular Mancino. I actually have a few more eggs to hatch. Um, I think I have one more hatching right now, and then I have a couple more that need some more distance. But these are old eggs that I didn't incubate until after the event. So it would be crazy to get a shiny. We got another normal one. Okay, we'll see. Like I said, we have a few more eggs, so that could end up being really good. Wait a minute, let's check the IVs on this. Okay, I don't remember what 100% is in the eggs. Uh, for a second, I thought that was a really good one, but it wasn't. Okay, that's all for the five kilometer eggs for now. Let's see. Yeah, I have two more from that event that are hatching pretty soon, so I can't wait to see what those are. And we also have an Onyx shiny check. It's really hard to click on. It's a weirdly shaped Pokemon. Come on. And no shiny on that one. That's the only one right here, but we're gonna keep on driving through and get some more spawns. And we have two more Onyx right here, so let's do a shiny check. 
no shiny on that one guys these spawns are actually not that bad of course it's not as good as community day i thought it might be like a miniature community day just for an hour but the spawns would be really crazy it's not quite like that but still at the same time i think this is pretty good i'm actually okay with this i will say if you're playing on foot it's probably not the best i'm covering a lot of ground because we're driving through town but it's really not as bad as I was expecting. I've seen quite a few already. Okay, so I had to jump out of the car for this one. There's supposed to be two Onyx right here at this Pokestop somewhere, so let's try to snag those. Okay, and we have the first one right here. No shiny, there's one more somewhere right here. Hopefully I can track it down. Let's keep on going. Okay, and we found the other Onyx. No shiny on that one. There's actually a Tauros here. We might as well go ahead and check. And no shiny on that one. And we have another Onyx shiny check. No shiny on that one, guys. I was actually thinking about going to some parking lots or something, some sort of cluster spawn areas to see if there's more Onyx there. I am seeing a lot downtown, but since this is only an hour event, I don't really want to wait for new spawns to show up. So I'm thinking about checking out some parking lots. So we actually just went through a parking lot and I didn't really find anything there. I think whenever they did the spawn rework and they changed up where the spawn points are, uh, the parking lots kind of got um, messed up with that. Like there's no spawns there anymore. So I might not be doing that today. We're probably just going to keep driving through downtown and trying to pick up all the spawns. Uh, there's a few Onyx on the nearby right here that we're on our way to. So uh, maybe we'll pick up more Onyx just that way instead of trying the cluster spawns. Okay guys, so the event ends in about eight minutes, so we're gonna do one final drive through town, but throughout the entire event so far, I've seen 38 Onyx, which is a lot better than I thought, a lot more than I thought I would see. So overall, that's not horrible, but now we're gonna go drive through town one more time. I'm gonna try to hit up those lures over there and see if some Onyx are spawning there, and maybe we'll end up getting a shiny at the last minute. Okay guys, so as we're driving through here looking for some more Onyx at the last minute, I actually wanted to talk about February Community Day. So you guys voted for February Community Day and the winner ended up being Rhyhorn. So Rhyhorn Community Day is going to be on February 22nd and uh, I'm not really shocked that it won. I figured it would get the popular vote. Everyone that I asked really said they were voting for either Rhyhorn or Vulpix and um, I did a poll on Twitter and like 50% said they were voting for Rhyhorn so it doesn't come as a surprise to me. So that means we're getting Shiny Rhyhorn and Shiny Rhyperior with the exclusive move Rock Wrecker. So I thought I would let you guys know that news if you haven't heard yet. I almost forgot to tell you guys that. So I think there's an onyx at this Pokestop right here so we should be able to snipe it as we move through here. There's one right there. No shiny on that one. I think there's still going to be one on the other side of the road but I don't see it. Okay guys so the event is almost over and I think this might be the last onyx shiny check of the day so let's see if we can get a shiny on the last try. And no shiny on that one. I think that's going to be the last one, guys. So no shiny for me in the Onyx event. But overall, I have to say, um, I came into this event with very low expectations. So I think that's why I'm happy with it. Um, I've seen plenty of Onyx. I feel like I had my chance to get a shiny. I'm not really mad that I didn't get one or anything. This event did go pretty good. So um, I don't know. Like I said, they could have increased the spawns for this region maybe last night in new zealand and australia the asia pacific region maybe the event just wasn't as good for them and maybe niantic will make it up to them or i don't really know maybe it's just for certain players who played in bad areas or something i don't really know where those complaints came from but for me i really liked this event all right so now we actually have a tornadoes raid starting soon and i'm gonna try to get that in this video i'd like to get the pokedex entry i'm gonna see if the raid group can come together and if so we're gonna get my first ever tornadoes So 
we just did my first ever tornadoes raid and the CP that we're looking for on this is 1911 without the weather boost. So let's go ahead and see if I can get a 100% IV tornadoes. I feel like this is kind of a hated Pokemon, but I really like it for some reason. I think it has a really cool design. Uh, it's 1879, which is not 100%, but we do need to catch it for the Pokedex. And it's one of those legendaries that moves from side to side, so it's going to be kind of hard to get some good throws on it. So hopefully I catch it pretty easily. I don't want to be here all night trying to get one in the Pokedex. Uh, I don't know how many balls I got. I got 11 Premier Balls, so I got to try to use those the best that I can. And come on, excellent throw. And we got the excellent throw on the first try. That was actually pretty good. Please stay in the ball. One shake. Two shakes three shakes we got it in the pokedex guys piece of cake i feel like this is kind of a one and done pokemon honestly i don't really care much about the ivs i have it in the pokedex now uh it can't be shiny this time around so it's like one raid is really good for me okay guys so i guess that's all for the onyx event and the tornadoes raids for now uh so total tonight i found 41 onyx in the wild which was actually so much better than my expectations so i guess let me know in the comments down below how many onyx you found during your spotlight hour and i guess i'm gonna go ahead and close off this video right here so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my gengar gang and i will see y'all in the next video bye